Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo, going to do your weekend love reading, weekend love messages for November 10th, sorry, 11th through the 13th, okay? Um, I'm going to take a look at Friday, Saturday, and uh, Sunday's energy. So if you're new, please do smash that like and subscribe button. And I am here every Sunday through Thursday from 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Okay. Um, yeah, and there's a link in the description box below for personal reading if you want to get a personal reading. Okay. So let's get into this Virgos. Virgo Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Show Virgo the energy for November 11th, which will be 11-11. What are the messages here? For Virgo for November 11th, 11, 11. Okay, your true love is showing up, Virgo. <laughs> You've got a true love coming in. All right, let's see what is happening with the true love. I hope you guys can hear me. Um, let me see. Okay, what is going on? Here we go. <laughs> Where did my deck go? It's not possibly missing. Okay, so who is your true love? The romance of a lifetime. Okay, it doesn't have to be somebody that you're already connecting with. You could connect with someone who it turns out to be a true love partner for you on Friday. That's interesting. The 11-11. Okay, let's see. You guys, forgive me if I'm a little slow. My allergies have been kicking my butt with this climate change stuff so bad over the past few years, and I had to take some allergy medication just to keep it at bay today, and unfortunately, it's got me a little <laughs> loopy. <laughs> oh, boy, boy, boy. Okay. Um, it's like drunk tarot. I don't know what's going on here. Okay. Who is coming in here? Why are my cards crazily reversed? Sorry, I am incapacitated. <laughs> okay, two cards. Okay, so it's a Capricorn, a Gemini showing up here. True love offer coming in. Some of you, this is going to be from your acupuncturist. <laughs> Or your chiropractor, okay? Asking you out on a date. Trying to connect with you, okay? Also have another Virgo. All right, so I feel like there's somebody showing up here. So Queen of Pentacles, male or female energy. Um, okay, so there, it, it looks like it's a physician. I'm just picking up there's a physician. A, a doctor or a surgeon or someone. I don't know who that would be for you. They could be of the signs that I said. But this person, um, they're like kind of um, greedy. They could be very greedy about you. Um, okay, so <laughs> this person is going, it feels, it feels like they're going to ask you out and want to take you somewhere like high end, very fancy, high class on some kind of date um, or tell you they'd want to go grab a bite to eat or go eat somewhere and let's go to this place. And it's very, 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 very expensive. Okay. So whether that's somebody you're currently connecting with, it could be a past person, but I'm not really seeing past energy. I feel... I am not really, well, it is a finishing what you start kind of energy. for. So for somebody here, this could be someone from before. And they could be showing up in, you know, it could be a Taurus, Earth sign. Um, also making some kind of an apology, a good faith offer, an apology to get you back into a romantic relationship with them. So... Yeah, I'm not really picking up like there's communication, um, like like it's a reach out. Yeah, you might bump in or see this person somehow, or maybe have some work done. Maybe they're maybe it's someone doing 
cosmetology work or um, what am I trying to say here? Okay, hold on, let me focus. Facial work of some sort or something. It, I'm just feeling a physician. I, I just have to tell you that. It, or someone who works in holistic medicine or healing of some sort, okay? Um, so you connecting with this person and then they ask you out and they wanna take you somewhere really fancy, okay? And if you're already connecting with someone who is a physician, yeah, I feel like there you go. I just, they just said get one more card. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So not reconciliation, but definitely with death in reverse, that's Scorpio energy. This is like something that's not over, not finished. Are they pay for you to go get something done? on your back or get an adjustment or get some acupuncture or they get that done as well this person i feel like somebody is trying to avoid an ending of some sort okay um there's also they this person feels like something ended or there's a betrayal or something came to an end and um they're very greedy to have you back they, because they feel like you are their true love and they don't want this situation to be done and to be over with that's what the death card in the reverse is this person has an inability to move forward they have a fear of new beginnings and repeating negative patterns this person does resist change and is a bit dependent on you actually highly dependent because even with okay so <laughs> there could be you could be connecting with a sociopath i could tell you that um this person is not willing to let go of the past or even past versions of themselves okay so there might be a reason why something ended here for you virgo if this is a person from before you might have ended it and i feel like yeah I, you're going to connect with them somehow or see them possibly and find out that this person does not want something to end and they're very slowly going to reach out to you try to connect with you on friday all right, let's see what Saturday is, November 12th. Okay, well, deception is in the reverse. So coming clean, something's coming to a head. There's some truth coming out here on Saturday. You guys are gonna make this video a little bit short just because oh, I feel completely wasted from this allergy medicine. I tried to take the daytime medicine and it didn't work. So I had to like, I don't like the way it feels, but I'm definitely gonna go take a nap after this. So, okay. Oh, truth about, so, okay. Six of wands in the reverse, my goodness. Um, This is someone who is like very egotistical. Our lack of confidence, yeah. This is somebody who like purposely goes out and seeks attention. Oh yeah, someone who, misery loves company, who's this person? Could be a Pisces, it could be a Leo. Let's see, this person is very, very unhappy. I feel like you're gonna come to realize this about this person. They, um, they're um, they kind of a loser, or they feel like they're a loser, or a failure, or you see them that way. Okay, um, they're very paranoid, they have ill will. Let me see. Okay. This person engages in um, this person comes in and like tries to give you a lot of attention and then they re pull back and all to make you cry for more, which is really effed up. <laughs> Maybe it's a sociopath here. Why are these readings like this? For God's sake. Okay. I mean, on the weekend of all places. Okay. So I do feel like whoever they are, um, I'm hearing a conversation and they say to you, oh, I just got back from, I was traveling and I just got back from this particular place, but they're not gonna tell you what that place is. Okay. Oh, I was on a spiritual retreat. That might be what they say to you. I don't know how I feel about this relationship or I don't know if I can move things forward. I, I feel like too, that's a lot of that energy. You're gonna, 
hear from someone and they're going to tell you like, I don't know if I can do this. I want to be with you and they come in making this offer and they want to take you out somewhere real special and like really kind of wine and dine you. But then they have a change of heart on Saturday or maybe they don't, you know, if, if you're single and you connect with this person and you go out on Friday and you have a nice, you know, oh, they're like very romantic. And then Saturday they just disappear because they're like, oh no, I don't know if I can do this. I'm not sure if I can do this. I'm feeling trapped. This, I might, like, I'm not ready to confine myself to one person. I need to let it go. Okay, lack of direction. Piscean energy there too. All right, let's see what the energies are for Saturday. Virgo need to know, I'm sorry Sunday what does Virgo need to know for Sunday Saturday is like I just feel like Saturday go do you Virgo go, go out and enjoy yourself with others get your mind they like don't don't um just don't be focused on whoever this person is on Saturday okay Sunday oh a decision gets made clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now okay let's take a look hmm Seven of Swords in the upright, Temperance reversed, the Star reversed. All right, I think you're gonna just say, oh, forget it. I think you're gonna walk away. So this just really feels like a simple reading. It feels like you you have some type of, someone. you generate some interest from someone who looks like a catch. They want to take you out, wine, dine, or go somewhere real awesome or special or fancy or fun over the weekend, at least Friday or sometime over the weekend. And then after all that, then they just dip out. Okay. And I feel like you're going to just kind of be like, no, this person's not for me. That's what I feel like is going to happen. Maybe you might feel like they're very egotistical. Um, maybe even along the lines of like underhanded type behavior. They're deceptive. You know, um, they, there's a lack of communication on Saturday, like the day after, or you see them over the weekend. And then after that, it's like they just disappear. And I feel like you're going to just nip it in the bud right away. You're just going to, nope, nope, no follow up. No, thank you. No, um, you know, hope you had a great time. Nothing, nothing, just complete disappearance. And I feel like you're just going to say, oh, that's it. I'm not, yeah, I'm not chasing. I'm not doing anything. I feel like you're going to make that decision, right? Because this person might come across to you as very unbalanced, you know, or they're just someone, I don't know, a lot of you have been through stuff. So you see things a lot sooner now, you know? You, you call spades quicker than you used to. You're aware a lot quicker now. The minute somebody sh throws a red flag on the, you know, throws a flag on the play, the minute somebody does that, you call it right away. You don't, no, oh, well, you know, maybe it's me. You don't sit and review the play. You're just like, no, that's, I know exactly what that is. Uh, nope, that, bye, done, I'm out, see ya. I feel like with you, Virgo, there's like, it's it, this ain't baseball for you. You're like, one strike, you're out. <laughs> Forget this three strike stuff. Yeah, um, you're not playing ball with someone or anybody. So I feel like if this energy happens over the weekend and somebody kind of like ghosts you and then a few days later they reach out and say, hey, thanks, that was a great weekend or whatever, I would just ignore it and keep it moving. Yeah, that's your message for the weekend. I know it's short and sweet, but... I'm going to go sleep. I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Bye.